Hey, Red Wing fans. Uh, what we have here again is the 2966. I know you've probably seen the earlier review, and uh, I just thought again I would come out here into the wild, which is also known as the backyard, and just shoot a little bit of a uh, uh, video with uh, a little bit of more natural lighting. You can kind of see some of the patina, maybe a little bit better color. And uh, yeah, it's basically, uh, you know, the different uh, characteristics of this is Klondike leather. Um, it is a, I guess it's an 8, I'm not sure if this is 8 inch or 10 inch. I think it might be a 10 inch boot, possibly. It's pretty tall. And uh, soft toe, not, um, does not have a uh, steel toe, which the, uh, I think, I forget the other model. You could look it up, 2268 maybe, something like that. Nine, uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I didn't do my research, sorry. And uh, yeah, these are pretty comfortable. They were really tough to get in when I first got them. They were um, previously owned, and so they had a different shape to them. So I had to basically, um, I put a boot stretcher in there to kind of open it up a little bit more. They're eight and a halves. I normally wear nine in all other uh, Red Wings. Um, these are pretty remarkably comfortable for being um, like slip-on boots. I don't particularly like slip-ons because I can't uh, adjust them with laces, but this one, again, kind of tough to get in. Once you first get your foot in, it's like tough to get past this this, um, this midfoot. Um, I'm not sure if it's on the shaft or the shank. <laughs> not the shank, but yeah, it's kind of tough to get through, but once you get past that and uh, get them broken in to fit you, uh, the one of the YouTube posters uh, traditionally uses them um, like uh, a bath of hot water he puts his feet into first soaks them and then walks around that I'm sure that's a great way of stretching and to be honest uh, that's kind of what I did too I suppose I didn't put hot water but I did wash the car with these and they got splattered with water not soaked well maybe they were they were quite a bit wet and as I wore them throughout the day maybe an hour or two later they did uh, conform more to my feet so it kind of got rid of the previous owners foot shape and there was a heel issue this this right boot heel was really like, I don't know, it was pressing into my into my heel. And so I thought, oh man, misshapen, oh, how am I gonna get rid of that? Well, I used a, um, uh, so those wooden uh, shoe trees, and the shoe trees had a really, a really wide rear portion. It was, um, you know, rounded off nicely. And so I put that in there for a while and that seemed to alleviate that weird shape pushed it back out and now it seems to fit my feet. It feels like these are the ones that I start out with. So there's just little adjustment things you can do to take somebody else's shoe and uh, readjust them. I know that I get them way cheaper than the, <laughs> than the originals. And um, yeah, so I don't, I don't mind whining, wearing uh, somebody else's foot. And then if it's really worn, although sometimes the, the insole takes on a weird shape and your toes just don't touch where theirs are and their arches and whatnot. So that could be a problem. I think I've had a, maybe one or two that I didn't like the feel because it was, they were kind of shrunken and kind of curled up on the edges and I could just feel it. And that wasn't very good wise. Not a wise decision, but uh, you can't ever figure that out until you get them. So it's a gamble. You know, a lot of these are a gamble. And I, um, <laughs> I even uh, kind of chuckle when I hear on the forums when certain um, posters will uh, say something like, uh, Oh, what will fit me the best or what size should I wear it's like eh, you know if I would have went with whatever somebody might have told me because on my Brannock device is an eight and a half E then I would be wearing eight and a halves or seven eights you know and they would not fit I've already tried an eight and it's too snug too short so it's kind of hit or miss you know it's uh, very um, subjective even between the same model I've gotten, they have just, there's always a slight, slight different fit just because when they're handmade, you know, even though they use um, um, consistent lasts and materials, but you know, the person who's making them, they could just be doing a little bit different on each one. And so, you know, it's best to, if you can, if you have an opportunity of trying on several different pairs of the same size and same model, but I gambled pretty much from eBay and whatnot, and I go for nines. I nines work 90 90 percent of the time. Make I might have to make an adjustment by putting in a um, an extra insole liner. 
possibly not too often or um, I do wear orthotics maybe that's the key too I wear the um, Birkenstock three-quarter insole I don't have that available right now but you can look it up and that makes me uh, go up probably another half size so that's why I'm in a nine and D because there's no sense there's hardly ever E's I can bear, I can never find an E and actually a nine E is actually a little too wide for me I, at least the ones I've gotten maybe because they were used they got stretched out but yeah so it doesn't work out as well so I, um, you know, again, it's just, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty much a sh crap sheet. <laughs> You're gonna, you know, you can narrow it down, and, but there's always gonna be some little adjustments. And, sometimes, and of course, I've had to use a boot stretcher for these, just to get them a little open, more opened up, you know, and, and not. And now they feel pretty darn good. They're got good toe room. I can move, I can wiggle my toes pretty well. There's no hot spots that I can really feel. I guess the leather is really nice and has worn nicely. And I think I showed this earlier, but basically somebody, the former owner of this, uh, he did use the um, uh, the boot, uh, Brian the boot maker, his roll club keel, he put that on there, the heel cap. So that's kind of cool. And I did, I thought that these were maybe cut down a little bit, like like they was, went down to a, a, a sh maybe the this heel stack was a little shorter, but I checked it against my, um, uh, what is it, the 886, whatever the, the suede ones that I have of these same, uh, the they have uh, steel toes, and I checked the height, and it's about the same. So I guess they just replace it with. I think it normally comes with a um, uh, composite insert in here from Red Wing, and I guess this is he, this is leather now. So he must have got the leather stack put in and this um, heel cap uh, with the roll club heel cap. So kind of nice little. Little nice subtle touch, you know, having leather heel stack as opposed to the synthetic one that Red Wing traditionally puts on it. So enough yapping. I know I went over time. This is almost uh, over seven minutes. Ooh, that's a long video, I know. But I like to ramble sometimes. So thanks for looking and leave comments if you want. If not, that's fine. See ya.